What up, Licker Nation? Here with your boy Kareem, aka Mr. Hundred Likes. How you guys doing? Wow, let's get to it. Let's get to it, man. Last night we was on live. I'm gonna get right to it, man. I'm gonna get right to it. Last night we was on live, right? And um, Carl Anthony Towns was having a fabulous game. He had it was he had 53 points, and he this was like in the third, the late in the third quarter. He had 53 points, and um, he was on fire. So I I looked and and I seen I said they was up 12 points. Minnesota's up 12 points in Minnesota. I said and I clearly said it and um they's up 12 13 points. He had 53 points. I said, "Listen here, man. They got to stop. They got to play basketball. Stop trying to um chase the numbers. Stop trying to uh for cat to get 70 or 80 whatever. It was stop trying to force feed him the ball." At the time, Anthony Edwards only took one shot. He took one shot. He didn't score. He had eight assists. He took one shot. I said, they playing around. They up 12, but they playing around. You playing with a dangerous team there. Um, Charlotte, at the time, the rookie, Brandon Miller, had 18 points. And I said, you can't play with a team like that. They had LaMelo Ball, uh, Rosier, uh, Miles Bridges, um, P.J. Washington. They got guys who could score 20 points. And and you playing around trying to f and and force feed him the ball. You know what I mean? He not, you can look at his body. He not, everybody not in that shape to score that many points. You not, that's a lot of points and a lot of shots. You're not used to that. Your body, you have to have that body type for that. You have to be in that type of shape to, to pull that off. And they were just force feeding the ball. And I said, yo, they better stop doing it. They're going to mess around and lose this game if, Anthony Edwards don't start looking for his shot and start playing. He only took one shot. It was the end of the third quarter. He only took one shot. I said, that's that's dangerous. They're playing a dangerous game because it takes a long time, to, especially uh, guards, to, to heat up. You know what I mean? Because that means, you know, you ain't going to get everything in the paint. That means you got to start knocking down some outside shots. You know what I mean? And, and you know, you're cold. You've been only took one shot all game, and you've been playing for over an hour. So I said, it's a dangerous game. And they came back and Charlotte won. And everybody was like, Kareem, you right. You called it Kareem, you a beast. Kareem, damn, you the GOAT. Calling me the GOAT last night, they were saying, because, you know, I called the game exactly how it was. and I Because I know the game, man. This is this is very important, man. I really know this game, man. And I know basketball, is. A, I played the game. It's, it's rhythm, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter what level you play. You play, you study it. You know, um, Cat is, I mean, uh, Anthony Edwards is their best player. He only took one shot, and you force feeding this man the ball to try to um, chase numbers. It's not good. I don't, that's why I don't respect today's NBA, because these guys do anything instead of getting a win. You you, you secure him. You just want him to get uh, 70 points, whatever it was. Y'all go, whatever y'all were trying to get him to do, a B scored 70 last night. So I guess that's what y'all want to do. And um, so that's that. Uh, uh, let's talk about uh, LeBron James. LeBron James is out tonight versus the Clippers. Uh, he putting his foot on the guy. <laughs> LeBron is a bad motherfucker, man. LeBron putting his foot on the neck, man, on, on, on D-Lo and the Laker organization uh, neck. He wants that trade to go down. Because um, LeBron know the temperature of the city. Every losing to the Clippers is, is not good. Um, he, LeBron feel, man, listen, man. We lose to the Clippers, it's just going to be more noise and put more pressure on the organization. Um, even though anybody with common sense feel like, number one, if they lose to the Clippers straight up, it, it, it's not a, a, a bad thing. But, you know, that's just how the Laker fans is. And he know the noise going to come anyway. And so he he's sitting out. He's he's not playing. Um, if my advice to D-Lo, go for 50. Go for 50, my guy. Shoot 30 shots. Do your push-ups. <laughs> Sling your arm all night. Get that shoulder and your upper body in shape. Go for 50, man. Go for 50, man. If I'm D-Lo, you got nothing to lose right now. You got nothing to lose. They, You see how they, they trying to move you. Go for 50. Forget that team set. Go for 50. If, if, hopefully you get the win with the 50. Go for 50. Because um, I, I feel he getting a bad hand. That's for another day, another video. But... um. Go for 50, man. 
and I don't normally preach. Uh, I, I'm I'm more with team and and getting the wins and stuff like that. But him as an individual, I'm going for 50, and I'm gonna just keep this thing going because I'm not saying just jack up any shot, but you you know you you have uh, you can you you have the ability to shoot 30 shots. You know, 25 shots. You have that ability. You you got the game where you could get yourself open to take a, a take them shots. And, and LeBron not playing, so that's shots available for you. So go for 50. Um, I want to touch on this. I was in. Um, I just came back from Dunkin' Donuts, right? And um, this sparked me to really uh, talk about this right now. I'm at Dunkin' Donuts, and um, some guys they was talking about. Um, a couple guys, they were talking about um, Bronny James, and and they were saying that these people is no good. Uh, people call him overrated. They booing him. People need to be ashamed of themselves. Why are people doing this and that? So I ain't know them. So I I really didn't. Say, I ain't say nothing. You know what I mean? I just was just thinking like it's crazy because, and and not not just the people, and and Dunkin' Donuts saying this. You you just watch if you listen to everybody talk. Everybody everybody. Oh, I don't want to talk about a man's son. I don't want to talk about because that's that man's son. I don't want to talk about nobody's son. I don't want to um, either, like with Gilbert Arena's show, you can see they tiptoe. Uh, uh, Bonnie Jones asked uh, a question, is he NBA ready next year? You can see where people tiptoe around um, the question. Nobody really want to say nothing. All in the media, even, even YouTubers and everybody. People feel like, oh, I don't want to speak on somebody's son. It's wrong. But in reality, it's not. Because and this is why when people use that word, keeping it real, everybody use word that sounds good. Keeping it real. That's not keeping it real. My thing is, when you see me, I feel comfortable talking about anything, anybody, because I don't be disrespectful. You can, you have that right to give critique of if, if this is what you're doing, if, or if you're speaking on a situation, if you're giving your opinion, you have that right. My thing, just don't be disrespectful. You ain't disrespecting nobody, kid. You ain't saying nothing wrong. But it's it's because he's an NBA player. That's LeBron James. His kid can't get a, 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 a criticism. You can't crit criticize. I ain't gonna say criticize him. I ain't gonna say criticize. I'm just saying you can't give your 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 truthful assessment about him. I ain't you you can't do that because that's his son. Or if it was Michael Jordan's son. Or if it was Kobe Bryant's daughter, and and if they have age, if they have age, now I get it when you know they under age, they in high school, you still can do it, but in in a certain way, like when um, but, but the thing is, LeBron took the criticism when LeBron was young, he had to deal with it. Allen Iverson had to deal with criticism. Everybody had to deal with it. Not, I ain't say criticism, a, a, a critique. Somebody critiquing your game and, and they feel how they feel about your game. They had to deal with it when they was 14, 15 years old. So why he can't 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 deal with it? See, this is this is why when people say, oh, keeping it real, this not, people don't be keeping it real. Because and it's gonna be like that. It's gonna be like that every time. It's gonna be like that even when Jay Z and them daughter. Jay Z is a is a big dog. His daughter into um, singing and dancing. When she get older, her Beyonce, they they kid. Nobody gonna really if if however they feel about him. You know if it's not that they not gonna really say what it is. They gonna tiptoe around a question. But reason why I said these people is, is fake and phony. But it was all right. People was dogging Lamelo Ball. I remember Lamelo Ball was young, 15, 16 years old. Oh, he this all. Oh, he don't play no defense. He um, basket hangs. He this. He that. They were dogging Lamelo Ball. They dog a lot of people. Um, Kwame Brown, for instance. Kwame Brown. They label him as a bust. Like he said, his mother had to hear them talk about his kid like that. So if Kwame Brown, if you could talk about Kwame Brown. And talk about him as a player when at he's at the same age as Le, LeBron James. Not just Kwame Brown. A lot of guys that came straight from high school. Right now, they people be killing school Henderson. It's the same situation. So if you could critique them and say what you got to say about them, how come you can't uh, critique uh, Bronny James? You can't critique him. Like it's like I see people on eggshells when it come to him. Like they feel like, oh, I don't want to talk. That's that man's son. 
Yo, uh, this, that, and the third, boom, boom. I, I, I see it all in, on TV. Gilbert Arenas in them. And Gilbert, like, you know, when I'm going to say this to all you NBA guys, if y'all ever, ever um, get to watch this video, any former or present NBA player, us as fans, guys who didn't make the NBA, when we listen to y'all talk and we watching, it's y'all duty to keep it real and give a strong, real good insight of the game. You lying or you tiptoeing around things or you don't want to say certain things, it, it, it doesn't it doesn't help. It's, it's, it's not good. That don't that don't help us. And, and, and it comes and Gilbert comes off as being if it was if Bronny James had any different last name, and let's say if Bronny James was um let's say if that was John Stark's son. Or, or let's say if, if if Bronny James was John Stark's son, Gilbert Arenas would be a ripping asshole out of him. Would be be going in on him. Gilbert Arenas, everything is offense with him. And Bronny James, you clearly can see he's not an offensive player. Everything offense with him. He dog. He Gilbert rips um, Vando, um, Jared Vanderbilt. He rips him. He rips mostly like all oh, these defenders. He he dis very dismissive for defenders. Bronny James best. Thing he do to me is play defense. I don't think he elite defender, but I think he could be a good defender. Um, that's to me his best attribute. But he's not a score, and normally the type of player Gilbert like. And, and Gilbert, he he dance around. I get it. Understand you know him, and and you know him. You know his father. I understand it, and you don't want to come off like that. I get it. But that just goes to show if you feel you can't be a just to say a, a real critique against him, don't be disrespectful for nobody. See, that's the thing. You could be highly disrespectful to everybody else, but then because you know somebody, you can't even give a real critique on their game. You can't can't give that. See, that, that that's that's where the problem um, lies. That's where I don't respect it because, like I said, this man is, is grown. If he if he commit a crime right now. He's not getting charged as a juvenile. He's getting charged as an adult. So we got to start putting everything he eligible. To, he can work. He he could he uh, old enough for the army. So stop with the kick gloves. Like you know what I mean. You could critique him as what it is. Just don't be disrespectful. That that's my thing. I I, I feel comfortable. I don't. I'm I'm not one thing about me. I don't disrespect nobody. I'm not with the disrespect. I don't even like disrespect. You know what I mean. But I think it's. It's good thing to give a, your honest critique and, and your honest uh, opinion about a player or a singer, a rapper, whatever it is. You know what I mean? You could do that while being disrespectful. And and the person who listening got the can't do nothing but respect it. You can't get mad because this person feel this way about you. Somebody say they don't like me for whatever reason uh, about you know my um, channel. It's cool, you, but you don't have to be disrespectful about it. You see what I'm saying? And that's the thing. People use these words but don't have the real meaning of these words. Oh, I keep it real. It's real. Over here. No, it's not. It's not real. Cause, cause you you got that energy over there, but you want to tiptoe right now. You 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 can't do that. Cause mind you, it's other people who have who have kids. You know what I'm saying? It's other people have kids. You talking about these these parents and, and they got to listen to it and they don't have the luxury he has. I hear people oh. Um, a lot of players get mad like, damn, you know, you talking um, negative about me. It can affect my contract. And you could affect some of these guys' draft status. These guys, you talk about some of these guys and you affect their draft status. Bronny, all LeBron had to do, LeBron come out today tomorrow and sit there and say, whatever team Bronny going to, I'm going to. He's getting drafted. He's getting drafted. So, he don't have to. He he could sit it out right now. He could score. He can score two points a game for for the remainder of, of of the season. And he's come out right now and say, if my son go to um, whatever my son get drafted to, I'm going in. He say that he's getting drafted. Nobody, no, but these players don't have that luxury. So if if these players gone from a disadvantage. And they they earned it. This like, come on now. You know he wouldn't have been a McDonald's All American. Let's just keep it real. He's not. 
Look at his high school. He didn't dominate high school at all. You can't tell me he's the top 24 best player in high school. You can't tell me that. He didn't do it. Didn't do, he was just a, a average player in high school. Like, it was nothing dominant about him. Like, come on. Like, let's just keep it real. And and he McDonald All-American because of who he is. So that's that's all good and dandy. But we have to stop as people, man. Stop and think about yeah, what we do. People will be so critical, dog, d do this and that, but then be like, oh, I don't want to talk about this person because that's that person's son. I don't want to do that because I don't be disrespectful to somebody's son. Somebody's son. Everybody's somebody's son. Now, if you put an age, I see people disrespect to a lot of college players. College players going, oh, he's not ready. He did that. A lot of college players, that's 18, 19 years old. I see it all the time. Even guys in the league, people do it too. So we're going to stop, stop it for everybody. So when you say keeping it real, think about what you're saying, man. And I think nobody off limits. Like now, like I said, now if it's kids, 15 years old, but once you 18 and, and you talk about playing in the pros, that's just like you, you, you 18 and you talk about jumping to the streets. That's like if I have a, my son wanting to be in the streets, I got to give it real to him and tell him exactly he got to be able to handle any consequences that come to him. He can't sit there, oh, oh, but tell a judge, yeah, but judge, I'm only 19. I'm young. I'm 18. You got to forgive me. Yeah, but you can't compare me to No. No. You shot this dude or you, you, you sold drugs or whatever the case may be. You got to handle that. It, it, it's no way around that. And that's just what it is. We got to start getting on it like that, man. I, it pisses me off when I see it all the time. People have to stop it, man. Listen, man. Critique him like you was critiquing LaMelo Ball, like Leangelo Ball, like everybody of person that's 19 years old, every other freshman. If you're not going, if you're going to be like that with everybody, be like that with everybody. Because now you basically telling me you look at celebrities more than an average person. People always be like, oh, celebrities, they just like us. I don't put them... And, and no, um, I don't put them in no uh, better uh, standard than us. Yes, you do. Because you can destroy this person knowing he got mom and dad and knowing that that can affect anything. But you feel, oh, I can't say nothing. Oh, because this is um, Michael Jordan's uh, son or this is LeBron James' son or Kobe Bryant's daughter or, or um you know, Jay Z do it. No, no. You you have to just be be real. Like I said, look. Just don't be disrespectful. And and like I said, if they grown, it, they had to deal with it. Their parents dealt with the, LeBron dealt with the criticism. He had to deal with it. He was strong enough to deal with it. So his son got the man up and deal with it. They booing him and calling him overrated. I don't think that was they they wasn't wrong for doing that. They could do what they want. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace.